What's up everybody, welcome to an update video for December 2021. It has been a good deal of time since we actually did an update video. Before we get into discussing about the games, the schedule, what's going to come, what's been going on with the channel, and what we can look forward into the future, I do want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart for getting the channel to 2,000 subscribers. That is really awesome to me. We got to 1,000 not too long ago, and then even before that, I started this in, what, 2016, 2017? But I have been doing this really off and on. I haven't really been consistent with doing Let's Plays until I came back in 2019. Basically when I first started, I guess you would say basically when I first started Witcher 1 is when I started being really consistent with Let's Plays. But when I first started I had just this terrible headset mic and I was just mouth breathing into the, you know, into the headset and just having a blast and i remember though when I, I guess you just gotta start it you know you just gotta start it you just gotta do it you just gotta have fun and that's all this is about for me it really just is about having fun what i'm saying is when i got to 100 subscribers or even 200 now there were 2000 but when i got to like 200 i was just so happy even when i got to like the first 10 i'm like man people are actually subscribing to my nonsense that's crazy but 2,000 of you, granted it might not be 2,000, still, I'm just so ecstatic that you guys can stomach my nonsense each video that I do. It's just a lot of fun for me, it's a great hobby, and again, I do appreciate it, and there is just more to come. This is just the beginning, I don't see an end to doing this YouTube stuff for a very long time, unless something dramatic happens, but let's not go there. Anyways, what I'm saying is, it's just been a lot of fun, and it's really enjoyable to know that you all enjoy my stuff and you can get something from it as in it could make your day better or worse I guess however you want to look at it anyways it could make your day better and it's just really enjoyable for me knowing that my content can touch you guys in a way because it's been really rough friends it has it's been a really rough couple years for everyone and it's just a stress reliever for me too to come in here record these videos play them how i want to play and then you guys just enjoy it and then you may be able to have a decent day because of the videos can touch you in a, in a certain way what i'm saying is it's just really gratifying it's just awesome to to get to that milestone it's a huge milestone and if it wasn't for you guys i want to say and another reason why i want to thank you guys not just for the number but I want to thank you guys for interacting as much as you do and showing the love on these Let's Plays because, in general, for me, when we discuss stuff in the comments, it really keeps the content creator really immersed, at least for me. I'm not sure how other YouTubers see it, play it out themselves. For me, when we discuss stuff in the comments, it truly does keep me much more immersed into these games. And that's just how we've been doing it. And I do thank you guys for it because if we never got to this point right now, I don't know if I'd fully be the gamer that I am. As in, I always game like this in general, really immerse myself, but not on this level. Not on this level of like shedding tears and stuff on camera. It's just another level it just it takes it to another level and again like i said i do really truly want to thank you for that and the only thing we can say at this point is upwards and onwards friends time to keep going and i'm gonna enjoy every moment of it i'll never change i'll always be the person that i am because that's just who i am and thank you for understanding my play style and then supporting me through it anyways so let's talk about the schedule the schedule will still be exactly the same we are not going to have dedicated days for any games. We had dedicated games for games back a little while back. We had like Monday, Tuesday, this game, and then so on and so on, another game. What we're always going to look forward to is the main game on the channel is always going to be two days back to back. And when I say by main game, I mean a game that is either blind or, well, yeah, just a game that I have never played before will always be the main game on the channel. So right now the main game is obviously Witcher 3. Two days Witcher 3, and then it will be one day in the secondary game, which is Mass Effect 1. So when we push forward past Witcher 3, past Mass Effect 1, no matter what it is, 
the next game that will slot into the main game will be a game I never played before. Then, if we get to a game, well, we will eventually, we'll get to games where I never play both of them. I still want to keep introducing two games on the channel. Maybe once we actually finish some of these games, I could possibly jump down to one game. But I have started so many games recently that I can't just cut them off. That would just be terrible if you just cut them off. You just can't do that. I couldn't bring myself to do it, and I just couldn't. We had to finish them before we cut it down. Maybe if we finish one of the games, we can cut down to just one game. But I still foresee us not doing that for a good deal of time. The Witcher will still be game one on the channel, the main game, and that's two days on. After The Witcher will be one day with Mass Effect. After, I'm foreseeing us beating Mass Effect 1 very, very shortly. I don't think we'll beat Witcher 3 Blood and Wine DLC for quite a while, so I'm thinking many more months. Because there's just a lot of stuff still to do. And once Mass Effect 1 is done, we will be introducing The Walking Dead Season 2 finally. That is a game I haven't played. So after we get done with Witcher 3... We will probably start, as in we will probably slot in Mass Effect 2 into the main slot. Because Mass Effect, once we get past Mass Effect 1, Mass Effect 2 and 3 are blind for me. So they will slot into the number one spot. This is just after once we're done with Witcher 3. And then we still have Dragon Age to talk about. Dragon Age will always be sporadic for now. I can put more videos out of Dragon Age once we get done Witcher 3. I can't physically do Witcher 3 and Dragon Age a lot of videos together because they are so big games. They're literally almost the same game. They are just too huge. We will do Dragon Age a bit more once we actually have done the Witcher 3. And I believe once we slot in Mass Effect to the main spot, Dragon Age or Walking Dead will be into the secondary slot and then Dragon Age will be sporadic still but it will be more videos than what it is because I can do that with the Walking Dead and Mass Effect because they seem very linear games. That is the schedule going forward like I said once we get done Witcher 3 start Mass Effect and do Walking Dead Dragon Age will still be sporadic but it will be way more videos than what it is now and once we're done with that stuff, I want to start introducing more games to the channel that are possibly new. But this is the thing. I want you guys to take the time, if you can, to recommend me games that are like the scale of Witcher 3, Inquisition, Mass Effect. Just games with really impacted stories, games with great characters, games that I can really dive into and sink my teeth in and just get immersed into the game. Because I really feel like I want to take this channel in this direction of these type of games. Because these games give me... It's just they give me a great story. They give me a lot of speculation that I can do. They give me a lot of interactions with the face cam and stuff. So these will always be the games that I would like to do. So please, in the comments on this video, or we can do a community post with it. It just don't matter. I'm going to take these comments of the games, the recommendations, and I'm going to put them into a poll eventually. But when you recommend these games, they have to be PC. I don't have, I have an Xbox, but I just, I don't really, I just don't really know how to fully do the whole console recording yet. I'm working on it, and then that's just something we can look forward to in the future. But I'm saying all the games that get recommended, please be PC. Like I said, well, I'll take them, I'll put them into a poll, and then we'll kind of just go from there with what we'll pick. Because I don't really have preferences, friends. After The Witcher, after... What is it? Mass Effect. And then after Walking Dead, I kind of don't have preferences and I'm just willing to play whatever. I want it to be on the level of The Witcher because The Witcher, The Dragon Age, The Mass Effect, those are very entertaining games to watch. It can't, like, there's some games in my list. The stuff in the About Me are games that I kind of, let's just call them rough drafts. They are games that I want to do, but they are games that aren't really a priority fully because I don't know how them games are gonna go. When it comes to, let's just for an example say, Elder Scrolls, or Fallout or something, I do wanna get them type of RPGs in there because I've just heard great things about Bethesda games. You can really dive into their games, they got good stories, characters, this, that, and the other, but I'm saying some of them games are pretty old. I don't know how 
a very old game on the channel would go because, well, I just don't know how entertaining an old game would be. Listen, I'm always up for it. It doesn't matter what game, as long as it's a great game, it can be an old game and just considered the best RPG ever. I will LP the shit out of that fucking game. So it don't matter what it is. I'm just saying in general, I'm thinking for myself and for the future, let's just say something games on the lines of this, really heavy stories, really character driven, stuff like that. I know there's this many games out there. I don't really look for games that much. Yes, I see stuff when they come out kind of just like, uh, you know, the world introducing the game, the developers introducing the game, and I'm like, oh, I kind of want to play that. That looks pretty cool. So yeah, I have seen games like that. I'm not that much of a stump. Well, maybe I am that much of a stump. I'm also thinking that with the way I want to go with the channel, I never played a whole, like a new game. Witcher 3 is the newest game I've ever played on a channel. I think it might be time to start introducing brand new games to the channel as well. I think that could be a good idea. After we get done with Dragon Age, that is the last game that I will be introducing on the channel that is not blind. Everything after Dragon Age will be first time experience for me and I feel like that is the way I want to keep going on this. I will eventually do redos of some Let's Plays, specifically The Witcher. The Witcher is not done yet. We can say it's a spoiler, but not really since I'm giving it away now. The Witcher is not done. I'll do another playthrough of The Witcher, I just don't know when. It will be a good deal of while. I think it's going to be after, obviously, it's definitely going to be after the whole update with Witcher 3. Just remember though, if this new update with The Witcher 3 that comes out, I'm not sure when, but if it comes out with new quests and stuff, that will be going on the channel immediately. So I will put it into a separate playlist and just put it on the channel just so we can see it. And so I can say, there's no way that I'll be able to not do it. But what I'm saying is, with The Witcher, we might do something with either a stream, or we may do a full-fledged Let's Play again like this, but it will be different choices. And I feel like if I want to do that again, it would start from Witcher 1 all the way through Witcher 3. Possibly. That's an idea. That is, like I said, it's all ideas. Recommendations, I will put them in a poll, and then I will go from there with doing stuff. Like I said, just no preferences for me. I just want a game. I love this. Everything at this point is all new to me, so recommendations for good games will just... I think it's a good direction, because I'm just very indecisive. I can't pick anything. It takes me so long to pick stuff. It takes me... You have no idea how long it takes me. I sit there sometimes. I have to make a cut in the video. I sit there and I'm sitting there contemplating, hmm, where should I go on the map next? Should I go up here or should I go over here? Maybe, or maybe I'll just bump into this NPC and hopefully an idea comes in my head on where the hell to go. I'm just saying I'm indecisive. So, yes, new games and just anything past this point is fine with me. Still can't believe the whole 2K subscribers. Well, wow, that is really awesome. Like I said, from the bottom of my heart, I really do appreciate you all. It has been one hell of an experience on YouTube, and I feel like we have so much more time together to keep making these journeys, and I'm really just looking forward to it. And just seeing where the channel goes from here. You all are great. It's nice to meet new people from all over the world. That's what's so great about these games, that we get a chance to... That I get a chance to learn all these different customs, learn stuff from all around the world, things that I never know. I swear that when I do these Let's Plays and I read through the comments, I learn new shit every day. And that's awesome. I feel like I learned more from doing Let's Plays than I have in school. That's wild. Thank you all so much for being here. And I do very much appreciate it getting us to the milestone here. We will have more update videos in the future. I like to keep you guys up to speed with what's been going on. Actually, I do want to talk about missing the past two months I wasn't sick nothing like that I had an injury I had a pinched nerve in my back and it was kind of leading up to my neck and it was very hard to have you know headphones on so that's the reason why I took that long break it was forcefully break and I just did not want to take it because I wanted to keep gaming and like I said going forward we can really look forward to at least five videos a week I will take days off but they will just be sporadically it just won't we just really don't have set days, so we'll take it from there. One more thing is, 
There is another game that I do want to talk about because it has been recommended quite a lot lately, and that's the Thronebreaker game. I will be doing that after The Witcher at some point, for sure. And I also maybe want to introduce a bit horror games. I know we're talking about The Walking Dead, but I think there's a lot of other horror games out there that would be worth trying. And I'm not a stranger to wanting to do... Um, what is it? The JRPG games? I know I have... The, or what is it? The CRPG games? I think that's what it's called. Like... What's it? What the hell is that stuff called? It's in the About Me. There's a few of them. It's like the old Baldur's Gate type of games. I am, I'm not a stranger to wanting to do that stuff because we did a poll at some point about that stuff anyway. So, that is all ideas. Everything is just... I'm just looking forward to what's going to come on the channel. And I'm just rambling on now. But anyways, my friends, I'm out of here. Thank you so much again for getting the channel to 2K and upwards and onwards. Take it easy, my friends. See you next time in the next video. Take care.